What is up and welcome to another edition of Worth Watch with me, Anthony Flores. This is going to be, obviously, a Blu-ray update. I haven't done one of these in a while because I think I, I figured out somewhat of a schedule. I believe I, I, I will more than likely do at least one Blu-ray update a month. But, uh, of course, like many people out there in the world, maybe even like yourself, uh, you only have so much money to blow. <laughs> and Blu-rays and movies are a luxury so long story short um one to two blu-ray updates a month i'm definitely going to try to at least have like four to five titles for each video I, I think i've explained this before but um for those of you who are new to my channel welcome and that's just my explanation of how i do blu-ray updates um so yeah as you can obviously read by the title this is going to be showcasing the uh, metal pack from target uh the exclusive robocop um metal pack to be exact and I gotta say, this is a hell of a lot better than the very just meh Blu-ray keep case that came out. But of course, the transfer was fucking awesome. Much vastly better than the release from a few years ago. And anyways, um, here we are. This, I don't know if I can catch it in the camera. But I love the way that looks. This shine to it. It's matted finish. I swear I would have bet money that this was going to be glossy and very um, easy to scratch up. But no, it's a matted finish. I can get a little bit of that shine in there. But um, sadly, not too much. But uh, this is a metal pack. The spine does have that split down the middle. Which kind of is a bummer, I guess, for those of you who are Steelbook aficionados, but I don't really give a shit. Steelbooks have been lacking, in my humblest of opinions, and I really just don't understand why. Uh, they used to be such an awesome form of collectible, and lately they've been just kind of meh. And one of the most recent examples was the Wolf of Wall Street Steelbook. I really enjoyed that movie, and I thought, well, if it was a cool enough Steelbook, why not? Because I would rather just wait for the price to drop for the regular edition if I ever do pick it up. That steelbook was the most bland thing I had seen in quite some time. Um, anyways, in regards to this steelbook, it is the same disc. It has the little card backing. And it's got the same exact artwork from the Blu-ray key case. It's got all the special features there from the previous one I showcased. But I'm very happy with this release I I swear though I don't know if I'm crazy I could have sworn I saw this for $12.99 unless there was some error and some people got lucky and picked it up for $12.99 with this particular metal pack but I don't know I ended up getting it for $14.99 but for this this is one of my all-time favorite movies uh, period it's one of my top 10 favorite movies of all time and yeah this is awesome and the inside artwork is just as good you got the, dang it, what's the E209? Or, damn it, for the love of me, I can't remember. The name of that particular villainous robot there that's one of the asshole robots that's controlled. And wow, this thing is pop. There we go. Same disc. And there you have it. You got Robocop about to face off against the ED209, I think. If I'm completely wrong, shame on me because I should have memorized that. Got the city in the background of Detroit. This is fucking awesome. So much better than the basic keep case edition that was $7.99 when it first was released, which was not a bad deal. I got my money's worth out of that one because I got to see the remake for free. And let's just say the remake is a blander version. Not a bad version, it's just blander. And only a couple of scenes were really, really good in that movie. And I just didn't like it very much. But hands down, vastly vastly better than the original keep case release very happy with this it does look great on blu-ray and it's got a nice matted finish etc etc so look at it <laughs> uh yeah awesome awesome movie and i guess a quick note i guess just really looking at these these are well done but this was my pet peeve with the x-men ones i really wanted to pick those up and for 10 bucks that wasn't a bad deal but then I saw some unboxings of it here on YouTube, and I guess that's the beauty of awesome people like um, Blu-ray people in general, just, just that put out stuff like this. Uh, one fucking disc. Is it that hard to release the two-disc version? There's obviously plenty of room here. And it's not even a reprinted disc. It's just literally, it has disc one on there, and that, as a collector for me would drive me insane if I just kept thinking, oh shit, where's the other disc? But it's not 
a two disc edition and that bothered me and that was a deal breaker for both the particular editions they looked awesome I really would have killed to have them but to double dip compared to the slip covered two disc versions I already have then eh, that was a deal breaker as a collector so let's see ah here's the Disney movie rewards title I had picked up or gotten via the points that I had earned and everything and that is the Rocketeer I'd always seen this in various video rental stores I always saw this little iconic figure here of the Rocketeer himself very good movie I was very entertained I really much enjoyed this period piece action film it was really cool it had Nazis in it which I would not have expected out of a Disney flick but considering Donald Duck was a Nazi at a point I, I guess that makes sense I don't know and the even more awesome fact was that this was actually a release with artwork on it. Uh, it is a very underrated movie from what I understood before going into this. And it's just a really fun movie. I very much enjoyed it. I didn't think I was going to be that much attached to it. I don't know if I'll ever sell it or anything anytime soon. But definitely uh, enjoyed all of these actors in this movie. Alan Arkin was great. Uh, this guy Bill Campbell. Wonder whatever happened to him. Never heard of him before. Timothy Dalton and of course the lovely Jennifer Connelly so very fun movie and if you have a Disney movie rewards account I if you have some spare points I highly recommend picking that picking that up so uh, it's a good watch very fun and entertaining and my last blu-ray uh, then I have one DVD title uh, my last blu-ray here is trans Sadly, the slipcover has a little bit of wear and tear on there. It had a lot of nasty sticker residue, but I got rid of that with my Goo Gone stuff. And yes, this is a very underrated movie. I can't believe I missed this. I had screening passes for this movie last year, and I, I should have went. I kicked myself now watching this. Um, I had streamed it online, and uh, for those of you who have seen the movie... Uh, you get some very nice goodness from Rosario Dawson, but in every scene she was in though She stole it like she was so good in this movie. I mean, I love her in clerks, too So this is just yet another aside from obvious reasons in the film uh, Why you could like her uh, as an actor I or actress whatever um, I very much liked her in this movie, and I loved her in clerks, too uh, James McAvoy is arguably uh, just one of the better actors out there. This guy knocked it out of the park with this movie. He's an excellent Professor Xavier, and he was awesome in Wanted as well, the other Blu-ray I picked up in my last showcasing. Um, yeah, uh, really solid actor, and Vincent Cassell was also good as a villainous type dude, thief, thug, whatever. Um, but a movie about hypnotism and how it can really be used as some nasty weapon of, of just chaos in a way. That's what this film felt like very trans like eh, pun intended and very chaotic in a way but it was good Danny Boyle uh, really did a good job directing this movie and I very much enjoyed it a hell of a lot better than any of these movies listed here but that's just me and last but definitely not least the critic I had wanted to hunt this down I had seen it at brand spanking new at some stores for 14 to 20 bucks and I got this for 9.99 at one of my local video stores brand new it seems like it's uh, aside from this little crease here if you can see it there yeah there it is but aside from that complete everything uh, the previous edition I had was very worn out very used I had it since the year this was released so I figured uh, a while back I had just uh, sold my copy and I wanted to get a newer one as a collector, it was driving me nuts. So much wear and tear just bothers me to a point, but it's inevitable. It's going to happen. So sometimes as a collector, maybe even you yourself have done that, where uh, uh, you've used and seen a movie so many times where it's so worn out, you want a new copy. So anyways, The Critic is hands down my favorite animated show of all time. And it's hard to say that because I love animated shows, but this is a great comedic timing. Everything about it is amazing. I highly recommend it. And that should do it for my Blu-ray update. Didn't mean to rush this ending, but I realize I'm clocking in on 10 minutes. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, uh, this little quick update. And stay tuned for more videos and other reviews and such coming soon. So thank you again for watching. I'm Anthony Flotus with Worth Watch, and I uh, will see you next time.